Tonight I'm going to show you how I install these D-rings on my Jeep rear bumper. Before I do, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out cardinaloffroad.com for all your Jeep parts and accessories. The installation of these should be pretty simple. I'm going to figure out where I want to mark them on the bumper, cut it out, stick it through uh, the slot, and then weld on the inside and weld on the outside. And then I'm also going to tie these in the frame just to make sure they're extra um, strong just in case you know as far as pulling and stuff like that now when you mark it on the bumper it's very crucial you double check your measurements from both sides that way you know they're even with each other so the first thing I did is I measured from here to here which is my entire flat surface and I want this d-ring to be in the center and then I kind of laid my d-ring at the angle up here that I wanted it to make sure that I'm straight with this flat surface and then I measured from the bottom to the top and got the center and then I took the d-ring and I just traced it out on the metal and then I went to the other side did the same and then I took measurements from the sides and top and bottom and made sure that it is in the same spot now all that we have to do is cut this rectangle out All right, so one thing I did is I took the welder, obviously using a grinder, you're gonna have to cut a little bit past. Um, so someone where I got a little bit too far, I just took the welder and I just put some little welds in there and then I ground it down. Um, obviously welding around this is gonna cover up them, but some of them were a little bit further past and obviously I didn't want them showing. So now I got the D-ring stuck through. Now. As you see, it's not at the angle that I want, and the reason being is because it's hitting the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the D-ring shorter, and then it'll actually run into the frame right there, and I can weld it to the frame, and I can weld on the inside and outside of the bumper. So we got the D-ring tacked in. Now, Depending, to figure out how um, long you need your D-ring, the best thing what I did was put the D-ring actually on the mount, put it in, and just make sure you got a little bit of a gap so it's not constantly rubbing your bumper. Once you figure that out, you figure the length and cut it. Then you also, when you put it in, want to make sure that it's straight with the bumper itself, but also up and down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and burn it in out here, and then I'll also tie it into the frame. And then I'm also going to run a bead on the back side of the frame. Alright, so we're all done. The only thing that's left to do is sand the bumper all back down, reprime and repaint it. Other than that, it's all good to go. Now this was a very simple thing to do. I think it took me maybe 45 minutes to do both sides. The biggest thing is when you're doing it, just make sure you double check your measurements. And make sure you take your time when you're cutting it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that thumbs up.